following video demonstrates how to import AutoCAD DXF information into Enforce. We begin by going to the CAD folder, right clicking and choosing import. Select an appropriate file, press open. Enforce begins by asking us what scale the drawing was drawn at in AutoCAD. That's so that the text when it's imported will be the right size in Enforce. And also what units the drawing was generated in. Quite often civil engineering projects will be in meters, but more often than not, when importing information from architects, it will need to be changed to millimeters. As this is an OS drawing, we can get away with meters. If I press OK, Enforce brings in the data, tells us how many layers were in the file and where it came from. If I focus on the CAD model, we can see the layers, whether the layers are on and off, the number of elements and their extents, and finally, whether any 3D information is in those layers. Being an OS landline tile though, all the layer names are, pr are primarily numbers, which doesn't always mean a great deal to the user. So using a filter option, we can actually rename these layers on import, so they perhaps mean something more useful. So I'll start a new drawing. Import again. Select the same file, press open, but this time enable a filter. To see how they work, I'll edit the landline one. So you can see here, here's the names that may or may not occur in the file, and here is the enforced layer names that they're going to get renamed to. The layers can also be ignored, have the color changed, and the line style changed, as well as the description. Quite a useful option is also the ability to ignore layers that have no definition. So you can simply set up definitions for layers that you know you're going to need, tick that, and you don't have to worry about any other stuff coming in. Cancel that, cancel that, make sure that's enabled. OK. If I now click the CAD model, you can see that the layers have been changed for us. We have some layers here with no elements on them. So I'm going to make a layer that's got some information on the current layer. And I'm going to right click and choose Select Empty. And then press Delete. You can see that I'm now left with only those layers with information on them. If I want to see what's on a layer, I can just highlight it. Go to the camera. Not much on that layer. Try another layer. And there you go. If I hold down the control key, I can select multiple layers. And go to the camera again. And again we see what's on those layers. If I want to see the entire drawing, click the CAD model and then go to the camera. Now we see the drawing in its entirety. Quite a useful function of importing DXF files is the ability to actually extract any embedded blocks or symbols, which you can then use in a survey afterwards. If I go to the settings menu, come down to symbols in the project, you can see there are a larger number of symbols now, most of which came in from the DXF file we've just loaded. For instance, if I want to now make the orchard part of an M4 symbol library, I just say save. OK that. Now I need to make sure that Enforce loads that symbol every time it boots up. So we go settings, come down to library symbols, i.e. the symbols that are actually saved onto the hard drive. I find the orchard symbol, and I tick always loaded. Enforce will know to include that as it boots. If I press OK, and now do file new. So changes, no. If I now, now go to symbols and project, we should hopefully find, which we do, the orchard symbol ready to be used. I'll just test it quickly. I'll create a blank CAD model. Call it test. I'm not worried about the scale. View that. And then I go symbols, one point placed. Select the orchard. Press OK. I can now put it wherever I like. And that concludes a simple demonstration of importing DXF files and extracting the symbols.